Oh my gosh, all these people are being so dramatic when they talk about communism and socialism. I mean, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> wait, 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 not that big a deal. Are you, are you serious? Yeah, I'm being serious. I mean, other countries have socialism and communism. The Nordic countries do, and they're fine. Um, the Nordic countries have a combined population that's about one-tenth the size of the United States. They have mostly free market economies over there. Uh, they have no minimum wage requirement over there. Uh, they support private property ownership and they advocate for school choice. Those are not socialist states. Well, what countries are socialist and communist? Um, Venezuela, communist China, Cuba. Under socialism and communism, the individual gives up their rights. They give their power and their authority to the state. Well, I don't want to give my individual power and freedom away. I mean, who would? <laughs> yeah, me either. I mean, the question you have to ask yourself is, do you feel comfortable giving your power, your authority over to a select few? And then this select few makes decisions for your family and for your kids. Well, no. What is it they say? Corrupt absolute power. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Right. I mean, absolute power corrupts absolutely. That's why the ideologies of socialism and communism have killed over 100 million people in the last 100 years. These people get this power and then they use it corruptly. It happens every single time communism and socialism is tried. That's why individual liberty is so, so important. Well, huh. I, I've never, never thought of it that way. You don't want to give up your power, your individual liberty to some bureaucrat in DC. Well, no. I mean, those people are dumber than I am. 